hello and uh, welcome to another episode of DIY Gardening. My name is Daniel and uh, I am absolutely fed up with my hose pipe kinking literally every minute or two. So I've decided to buy myself a new hose pipe and I have gone for the hose lock super hose expandable hose pipe and I'm going to be putting this through its paces today. So what's in the box? Let's open this up and have a look inside. So as you can see, we get the yellow hose lock super hose. Uh, on either end of the hose, you have the standard hose lock quick release connectors. You have one sprayer, again, standard stuff, all plastic. Uh, nothing fancy here. You also get a reducer. So if you have a narrow tap, you can fit that on there first. Uh, you may or may not need to use this. There's two different tap sizes here in the UK. And then you've got the standard tap connector. Now the reducer will fit inside that if you have a small tap. As you can see, the reducer doesn't fit onto my tap. So I'm just gonna put the main connector and uh, just wind that straight on. On the end of the hose pipe, I'll connect the sprayer. That just clicks into place. On goes the hose pipe. Switch the tap on. And it took about a minute for my hose pipe to fully expand from five meters to 15 meters. But if you look at what happens when I uh, turn the hose pipe on, it immediately starts to shrink and it's now collapsing back to its original size, which was around five meters long. Now, I should point out that I actually have poor water pressure in my house. So your hose pipe may take a little bit longer before it collapses back down in size. Now I can slow down the rate at which this hose pipe shrinks and I could even stop it from shrinking by adjusting the spray nozzle on the end of the pipe. But unfortunately with the cheap uh, nozzle that uh, comes with this hose lock product, if I actually want to slow down that flow rate, I have a very wide spray coming out at the end of the nozzle, which isn't really practical for uh, water in small plants. So overall, I just am really not that impressed with, uh, with this product at all. There are alternative products on the market that actually have a tap, an inline tap on the hose. So you can actually adjust the amount of water that reaches the nozzle, therefore you have an equilibrium. Once the pipe has expanded, you just set that nozzle to match the, the flow rate coming into the pipe and therefore the pipe never shrinks. But unfortunately, I haven't really got that option with the, uh, with the hose lock product. Here, I must say, I'm not overly impressed with the quality of the sleeve on the pipe. It has a rubber inner tube and on the outside, it uh, does feel like it wouldn't hold up well to, uh, to wear and tear. And unfortunately, the hose pipe that I ordered actually sprung a leak. It's got a bulge in the middle and it actually burst in two places. So I've had to take this one back to B&Q and get a replacement. And can you guess what happened to the replacement product? Yes, it sprung a second leak, <laughs> this time closer to the tap. So as you can imagine, I was not impressed with the performance of this hose lock product. I really did expect a lot more from hose lock. So just to go over a few things, I really didn't like the color, horrible yellow color. The fittings are just the standard plastic hose lock fittings. I mean, they are what they are. I prefer brass fittings. The sleeve on the outside of the rubber hose just didn't feel that thick. It didn't feel like it would last the test of time if it's constantly expanding and contracting. I could see that becoming damaged over time especially if it's been pulled over concrete or patio slabs or gravel or something like that. And then um, obviously you've got the fact that it leaked. And then to make matters worse, the replacement product then leaked as well in a completely different place. So overall, I'm not impressed with the product. Uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Now, if you look in the corner of your screen right now, you'll find a link to a video where I review a different expandable hose pipe. So if you'd like to see how I got on with the other three pipes that I purchased, go and check out that video. My name is Daniel, that's diygardening.co.uk. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, do hit the subscribe button as well. Again, thank you for watching.